Mike, you know, what does the sky look like right now? What are you guys targeting today? Well, just like you were describing, Jen, we have overcast skies overhead. I mean, it's just a, a thick overcast at this point. We'll be looking maybe for some breaks in those clouds today, but we think the dynamics are there to maybe even overpower some of that at times. But let's get an expert opinion of it. Got to Greg Forbes out here with us on Tornado Hunt, and we were talking about it this morning. Everything just, it just really seems like it's going to be there today. Yeah, it really is. It's expected to get extremely unstable. The, the cape, the convective available potential energy, that's the buoyancy energy for the storms. Four to 6,000, so in addition to the tornado threat, there'll probably be some softball hailstones falling. Four to 6,000. For folks at home, we generally look at maybe 2,500 or so to be a good number. Yeah, this and 1,000 is a thousand's well about the minimum, so we're talking four to six times what we need to get a severe thunderstorm. Let me ask you about this. It seems like it's been the problem for many, many events this year. Wind shear hasn't been there to cause a lot of rotation for these big thunderstorms. Do you think that's a problem today? or Looks like it's there. We have pretty strong surface winds right now, and at about 5,000 feet, the winds are expected to get to around 50 miles per hour. So the low-level shear is there. The mid-levels are a little bit weaker yet today. Tomorrow they'll be probably stronger, but that said, I, I think we're going to get quite a few individual storms and they may turn into a line tonight that'll go charging east. Lines are not exactly what no. we like, but if we can get on storms early and get yeah. these individual cells, we can stay on top of them. Usually we like to target the west or southwest side of the storm and then follow in behind that keeps us out of the hail, keeps us out of the heavy rain, gives us a nice view of the storm. Um, storm speed and motion today. It's probably going to be about 35 miles per hour, probably off toward the north and east. And that's very doable yeah. for us. That's the kind of setup that we like. Uh, Jen, we're going to follow it for you today. We're probably going to head a little bit farther west, maybe over toward Hayes. From there, we can go north, south, east, or west. So we think we're going to be in a good place at a good time, and we'll just sit and wait for them.